Hello from the Music Interview Corner. Today we're set by April from Helsinki with Pontus, Chris and Marcus. How you guys doing? <laughs> Hello. Thank you so much for taking time for the interview. Oh, thank you. This is awesome. How is your tour going so far? The tour has gone great. I mean, this, this, this trip or this week has been amazing. Um, and it's the last, uh, last show of the tour today. And um, it feels like bittersweet. Yeah. Uh, we don't want it to end. But at the same time, it's, it will be good to go at home and rest a little bit. Uh, but yeah, this, this has been just amazing. Absolutely. Way over our expectations because this is our first tour since the pandemic. Mm -hmm. yeah. And uh, I remember me and Rossell, when we first entered uh, the tour bus, we instantly, because apparently all tour buses smell the same. Mm -hmm. We think, <laughs> because we got all these memories popping up right away b uh, because of the smell. I mean, it's, it's, it's not a bad smell. It's not a good smell. It's just a particular smell. Nice. Cool. Particular materials, mm -hmm. like yeah. men and uh, sweat, I guess. Oh, like the real true smell. Cool. <laughs> Something like that, yeah. How did you guys experience the lockdown? Hmm. <clears throat> I mean, obviously, uh, there were no shows at all for two years. That sucked big time. But uh, we focused on other stuff with the band, uh, which was, you know, we, we made songs. We made our platform. We focused on merchandise. We, we did, we did uh, other stuff, and we kind of survived that way. Um, personally, I was in, it was all, it was okay, you know, it was Home, just home. <laughs> yeah, we had to adapt a lot for this, but the, the most fucked up thing, oh, sorry. No, fuck you're yeah. not allowed to say fuck. It is also accurate thing. to describe okay. the situation. Okay. Yeah, the most fucked up <laughs> thing is that I just got the job uh, to do the vocals in that mm -hmm. by April. Right, yeah. um, I think I got the call and I went on a vacation and I practiced the song there, got home, and we were supposed to leave for a tour like two weeks after that. And then the pandemic struck. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. I mean, this year is the first year we, we play together for real. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, I've been in the band for three years, but we just played once. And that's that's <laughs> weird. Crazy. It is weird. Yeah. And how did you experience the lockdown? Uh, what Ponte said, like, we focused on the digital uh, content. And uh, without it, we would not, not survive. Uh, like, it's... Uh, we're thankful that we have this mm -hmm. digital opportunities to create content and, uh, you know, survive that way. Yeah, I think it's really hard for artists when you can't be creative. By the way, yesterday your new single came out, Me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. how are the reactions so far? Uh, they're great. I mean, even since we, uh, ever since we uh, released the, the little teaser, people have been excited. And... Uh, I haven't checked so much today, actually. Have you guys? No, I've been asleep all day, so... <laughs> so. Yeah, it's, it's kind of weird when you go by tour bus, because you're just in a different dimension, it feels. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but um, we will definitely check it today. It was added to a big uh, playlist uh, oh. last night. Yes. I saw uh, that too. So it's going, it's, uh, going well. It's uh, getting traction. And, uh, yeah, it seems like people's reactions are pretty good. Like reacting heavily to it so yeah, i saw that that's why i was yeah. asking actually. yeah <laughs> like they tag us in the stories when the songs are released and there's particularly many of them this time i, I can notice like when uh, this morning we, we checked them all the time but it was like i don't know 50 or 100 new ones something like that uh this morning this song is so fun to play live it's yeah. one of the best songs ever to play live so that, that, yeah, it's a cool song. That would have been one of my questions. What's your favorite song to be live? So it's me. Yeah, right now it's that one, for sure, yeah. For you too? Uh, no, I would say Heartbeat Failing. It's just like it's packed with energy and uh, it's just, it's almost uh, made for being played live. Something like that. I, I just, yeah, I love it. And yeah. do you have a favorite song? Yeah, I agree. Yeah. I agree. <laughs> like that song yeah. is so much energy. Like, when we play that, I really get in the mood, you know? <laughs> cool. And what was the inspiration for me? Uh, 
It's actually kind of deep and a bit personal. Too personal to share? Uh, let's see if I can... You can also let the audience interpret themselves. Uh, well, yeah, I mean, they, they, oh, yeah, they should absolutely do that. But let's see if I can phrase it in a way it doesn't get too personal. <laughs> Uh, let's see if we can circle back to that question. Oh, yeah, like, like politicians. We talked about that before. Yeah, let's, let's circle back. Yes. Yes. Uh, in, in, uh, maybe at the end of the interview. Uh, let's see if I can. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, cool. okay, now we have a lot of excitement. Now we got the audience's attention until the end of the interview. That's perfect. So I noticed that you two have an amazing balance between the clean and the unclean vocals. How did you find this balance? Oh, yeah, how did we find that balance? <laughs> wow. Um, I, I don't know. I mean, uh, in terms of uh, splitting that up in the studio, it, it's pretty much up to the song uh, to kind of tell us where the energy, where the energy of the growl should be, and, and uh, the cleans and stuff. But when it comes to performing live, we divide it differently. Yeah, I noticed that. Yes, um, it's just to kind of keep the energy up and so we can max out our own performances in the best possible way. And uh, also it's, it's different watching us live anyway. So it makes sense to do that. Yeah, it's also much more interesting for the fans, I think. Yeah. Absolutely, yeah. I think it's, it's, it's kind of boring to see a band like play their song just the way it is on the, on the album or, or on the song recorded song mm -hmm. so you have to mix it up a little bit but that comes pretty natural to us how, yeah. how we like divide it uh, yeah. uh, on stage and i wanted to ask you you have a really cute dog can oh. you tell us more about your dog or would you like to share something about your dog yeah he <laughs> sure uh, samson is his name uh, he's a samoid um, and he's actually been uh, quite sick this week oh, no. so uh Going on tour and leaving my wife with uh, Samson alone, uh, and he got sick. That is a uh, terrible feeling. I'm so sorry. We can all send maybe like good energy to Samson. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah he's uh, getting better now. She sent pictures uh, of him eating chicken, <laughs> being oh, <good>. happy. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. But he's a um, quite a playful dog. Like, he goes, uh, fetches toys and uh, put them in your lap and. Uh, He has quite a personality, I would say. High energy. Yeah. I saw he has also his own Instagram profile. Yeah, <laughs> he does. My wife uh, posts uh, pictures uh, from Samson's life, uh, like every day. He, uh, he, when he's up to tricks and stuff. <laughs> nice. Yeah, yeah my, my best friend's dog also has her own profile. Oh, It's okay. important. Yeah. 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 <laughs> nice. <laughs> I noticed you have some special band merch. You have these, like, we call them sauna shoes in Finland. I think in Sweden they're called slippers, or oh, we right. call them also like Crocs. Crocs. The Crocs, yeah, yeah. Yes, and they say it's your favorite shoes. Uh, who had the idea yeah, for that? Not allowed to say Crocs. Uh, really? Uh, oh, oh, sense of that. that they're, okay. They're they're clops. Clops. Okay. Oh. Sorry. So these special shoes are officially called clops, and you have them as band merch with your logo on it. And it says on your Instagram that it's your favorite shoes. Is yeah, that right? This is true. I mean, Marcus Rossell made the design, <clears throat> and uh, we we always. Uh, Uh, me and my wife, we have those uh, at our home. And I use them to go from my home to my studio like that. It's in the same building, but I have to go outside. So, And also when we walk around in our garden and stuff. So I, I pretty much use them daily, and I love them. <laughs> me too. I have pink ones. And in Finland, that's kind of appropriate shoes for every occasion here. Yeah, there you go. I mean, they're super ugly, but that doesn't matter. They're so comfy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I love them. <laughs> Do you also have a pair at home? Um... Yeah, but not the D-Bay ones, though. I want one of those, but I have those regular black ones. I have other slippers, though, not those Crocs, Plops, what, what's the name? Clops. Clops. Yeah. <laughs> I have, a, like, a z z zebra uh, flops. Oh, cool. Th those are amazing. I call them my, uh, they're my, my special tour uh, flops. And it's so cool that you have them as merch, because I feel it's very Scandinavian. Yeah, it is, right? Yeah. Do, does people in America know what, what those are? Yeah, but they call them that word that we're not supposed to say, and they say they are ugly. But I think they are so cool, because here in Finland, I wear them all the time because I can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it's, it's totally like, acceptable in this country. It's in fashionable here, right? It is. It yeah. is with the right socks. We're yeah. probably uh, allowed to say Crocs, but it's like they, 
they are not uh, allowed to name the product Crocs oh, because of copyright issues. Oh. So the, the actual product name is Klops. Klops. Okay, because yeah. also the, the Americans say Crocs are ugly, yeah, yeah, so yeah. Klops are beautiful. It's good <laughs> to have a different name for it. Then. Yeah. <laughs> you also have a really cool cover artwork for me. How does that relate to the song and who made the cover artwork? It's actually AI generated uh, this oh, really? time around. And uh, uh, I, uh, I don't know, I guess I made it. I, I don't know how, how you... I mean, uh, you did some final edits as well. Mm -hmm. uh, well but you just typed in a few words, right? Yeah, what what did you type? Oh, yeah, right. Oh, I don't even remember. Like, give us a cool cover artwork. Uh, <laughs> Boy burning. I don't know how you described it. Like, he came into the room, I did this awesome artwork. Uh, yeah, what is it? We didn't, hadn't seen it yet. And he was like, it's a boy with his uh, hair on fire. <laughs> you know, it sounds funny when you don't actually see it. And then he showed it to us and was like, whoa, that's great. Awesome. Yeah, cool. I mean, how it relates to the song is, I guess, how you could feel inside based on trauma, I guess. I guess that's how deep we can go into that without yeah. getting too personal. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of portraying a set of feelings, I guess. Maybe we can go to a funny topic. What's the craziest thing you guys have ever done on tour? And it's your first tour, so what's the craziest thing these guys ever have done with you? Oh my I god. Know. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I know. Uh, I bought these um, uh, water ball splatter guns or whatever it's called in, in secrecy. So I bought them and I told Rossell I got these guns and we should surprise someone with them. Why not surprise the new guy, right? <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh. And so we have video where we kind of sneaks out and uh, bombards. Just start peppering me. And these, these bullets, they hurt. Oh, no. They're like paintball guns. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. okay. Yeah. And you, Rossell. Em, and Emil, yeah. And him, yeah. So three of them guns pointed at me for like 10 seconds. Oh, no. I was like, what the fuck's and going it, on? And you, you were holding a beer, I remember. Yeah. You were trying to <laughs> save the beer. It was fully automatic. <laughs> so it's like... Oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we should have brought them here. Oh, we can still do like an extra segment yeah, after yeah, the interview. I'll get them, yeah, yeah. We can try it on you. Mm. Yes. Mm. Yep. But you can never shoot the reporters, you know that. I no, will just no, be no, there and safe. report. Yeah. You're safe. Yeah. Yeah. They are, it's, it's basically children's toys, but yeah, that, that's, that's a bit crazy. That's a bit crazy, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Craziest tour memory. Well, that would be when we supported the by April with my other band oh. uh, in 2015. Uh, we went to Russia. Oh. And uh, the military police came to our shows. And we, um, well, they, mostly they were after these guys. Um, so the military police stormed the shows every night and tried to, I, I don't I oh know, try to get money out of us or something like that. Oh, really? Yeah. But we, we didn't get to sleep for like six days because we played the show uh, and then the, they came to interrogate yeah, you guys arrest, and yeah. oh us as well. You got arrested? Uh, no, but detained. abducted. Oh like, my God! Yeah, De detained, abducted, and interrogated. Yeah. yeah. That sounds like a horror movie, or like a spy it movie. It was. It was worse. Oh my God. Yeah, it was worse. That was. Die. Yeah. Oh my yeah. God! I'm glad that you're still alive. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> we we are as well. <laughs> you should have. I wish you would have had the guns back then. Oh, that would be <laughs> awesome. The only mm -hmm. difference was that they have had real guns. Oh yeah, right. Then. Yeah, right. So, yeah. so those nerf, nerf guns versus the uh, the AK-47s is not no, a good right. idea. They, but they, yeah. they were MP5s. MP5s. Oh okay, yeah. <laughs> and they all had like those uh, military masks on and everything. It was fucking crazy. Yeah, these, uh, like the silencers that were this long. Oh, fuck, that uh, sounds scary. Oh, it no. was something out of a movie. Yeah. Um, so we were so happy that when we got out of the country, well, the shows was great. I'll have to put that out, but uh, we were so happy to get out of the country. Yeah. Oh, I, I can imagine. Yeah. So when we dropped off in, in we flew to Germany afterwards, yeah. and I remember calling the newspaper. I was like, oh, we're alive. <laughs> we need to talk about this. Did you? Yeah. Oh, good, 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 because it we needs did. to be put out there, because that's horrible. Yeah. yeah. But it's just Swedish media uh, covered it. Um, but yeah, that was fucking terrible. Yeah, was, yeah. 
Were they only targeting your other bands as well? I, they were targeting other bands as well, I think. But they had, I think some of them showed us, we have a list that we will raid these bands oh. in some way. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I can't remember. Yeah. Oh, yeah. fuck, this sounds scary. But at the same time, there were some American bands touring as well, at the same time as us, but they didn't get raided. For, oh, so yeah. they, yeah, it was like that Bible, let's get them. They were even there on the wrong visas. <laughs> we, were, we were not. Oh, my God, that sounds so unfair. Yeah. yeah. Wow, yeah. That it's not a pleasant memory, but a memory. Yeah. Uh, definitely a special memory. Yeah, yeah. A, yeah a crazy memory. Wow. Maybe we go back to something funny now. Yeah, I, do that. <laughs> I really I have a funny tour memory. Yes, oh please share. Uh, we lifted a car once out of, yeah. out of the way for the for the bus. It was like we we were driving away from the venue, mm -hmm. and uh, our driver were like, "It's a car in the way. What do we do?" And we we're like, "Oh, that's unfortunate. Well, let's lift it out of the way." You did it? Were you involved into lifting it? Yeah, the whole tour party basically yeah. went out and lifted the car up a little hill so we could drive past it. Yeah. Where was that? In Germany. Oh, sounds, yeah, sounds German. Yeah. <laughs> I'm German, I'm allowed to say. Oh, okay. <laughs> and I, I really love languages and swear words. Could you teach me some Swedish swear words? Of course. Uh, yes. You want them all or? Just the, the best ones. Uh, fun. Jävlar helvetes jävla skit funny. Ja. Ja, det blir de jag kommer på. Is it like hell? Yeah, uh, um, hell damn. Damn. Ah. Jävlar is like damn. Fan is damn. Uh, jävlar is damn it maybe. Ah. Um, helvete is helvetes like hell. hell. Uh, yeah. Uh, and then we also use the words, you know, for genitals. Oh, we use that too in Finland. We have Vito. Is yeah. it like Fita? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I know that one. Right. Oh, and Did you say Fita or Fite? Yeah, uh, Fita. Fita, because in Norwegian it's Fite. One of my best friends is Norwegian. That was the wrong energy, but yeah, you get it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Do you have anything to add to that? Uh, let's see here. <laughs> what curse words do we use? Skit is what I think most. What does it mean? Shit. Shit. Ah. Uh, yeah, like, sweet. Like, nice. Yeah. Sounds almost a little bit Dutch or like Tessie. Ah. <laughs> yeah. I think, okay, the one we missed, Helvete. Yeah, Helvete, like hell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In Finland, it's also Helveti. Hel Helveti. Yes, we have an idea. You, you have the same pronouncements as Sweden, Sweden words a lot, but you, you add those I's. Yeah, we do that all the time. German words and uh, Swedish words and plus an I, so it's yeah, Finnish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But, but how, how does uh, Helveti? And perkele, there's the same meaning? Yeah, helveti means hell and perkele is more like a demon. But oh. perkele would also mean like damn it, or oh. fuck it, but it's more like a little demon. Okay. Yeah. yeah. All right. Perkele. Yeah, yes. <laughs> I know that word, yeah. It's more yeah. obsessed. Maybe. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I can't remember more of them now. I have to get back to that later. Oh, we have to circle back. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you want to circle back to me? or No, you already explained a lot about yeah, it, I think. Can, yeah, that will do, I think, yeah. Yeah, do you want to say anything to your fans? Uh, yeah, I mean, you are the best. Well, first off, we would like to thank everybody for coming out to the show. It's been, it's been an experience for us, for sure. And, I mean, this week shows why we love Finland and why we want to come back again. So, yeah, thank you so much. Yeah, the dedication shown by these uh, people on this tour is amazing they they made they make up their own line at the merch to kind of meet up yeah. with us and it's just amazing to see and they so they, they are so respectful towards each other and to, towards us as well um, amazing yeah like it's very humbling to see uh, those strong reactions to uh, our show and uh, to uh, you know uh, when they meet us and we sign uh, things for them, like the happiness uh, they, uh, you know, exert is um, amazing, and we try to uh, absorb every bit of it and uh, really appreciate everyone coming out and Just watching the show. The yeah. Wonderful. People afterwards, yeah. that them, that makes all of it worth it. Yeah. yeah. It's. You it's, can really feel that yourself. Yeah. 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 I'm happy to hear that. Yeah. So yeah, I would say thank you so much thank and you. 
Goodbye from the Music Interview Corner. Goodbye. Bye-bye.